Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is I, the Earthmaster, here, along with my uh, beautiful co-host, Missy Mimi's. How's it going, guys? She is here. That is not a recording, right? <laughs> no, it's not a recording. <laughs> not a recording. She is here, and uh, just going to run over the update activity here with uh, everyone tonight. Latest earthquake, it looks like, here on this beautiful Saturday night, about 3.0. It looks like a 3.0 here around the area of the Indonesia Islands region. Did see some deep, super deep movement here into the Mariana Trench just earlier this evening. Uh, we'll get into that here in just a little bit, but first I want to cover the Iceland area. Uh, starting to see a little new separate swarm of earthquake activity away from the Grindavik Iceland region. Still seeing a lot of earthquake activity there, specifically around that magma intrusion. Uh, but now we're getting uh, what looks like maybe a separate swarm up here. Uh, with a 3.7 magnitude earthquake coming in here. Uh, again, that is well to the east of the current magma intrusion, so we're going to have to watch that, uh, see if anything else may be stirring up out here, getting pretty active out in the area of Iceland. Again, we're still seeing movement here across this area. The latest information here from the Icelandic Met Office still shows and thinks that the high likelihood of a volcanic eruption um, continues here. Uh, this is the latest updated information here from the folks. And, uh, of course, we'll continue to watch back, or we'll check back on that tomorrow morning. All right, earthquake activity here over the last 24 hours. There's that super deep earthquake activity into the Mariana Trench area. Goodness, almost 600 kilometers deep for both of these earthquakes. It has been awfully quiet here recently uh, in terms of earthquake activity with this deeper movement. And somewhat larger here. We need to watch this area around the trench zones. It can uh, create some large damaging earthquakes up here. So keep an eye overnight uh, along this area of the plate boundary. Uh, Hawaii. Need to jump into Hawaii real quick. Uh, they've seen an inflation event kick up earlier this evening. Or I should say earlier this afternoon as well. Um, let me bring up the tilt meter here of the Kilauea volcano. Notice this pretty sharp spike in the inflation data. Uh, came in here within the last six to eight hours or so. Now, it looks as though uh, we'll have to watch this and see if this continues to go up, maybe above the previous cycle of uh, inflation. Um, but right now, it's not to that point yet. We'll watch this overnight and see what it wants to do. But uh, it is following this trend of roughly about three days, three to four days of inflation, maybe a little bit longer followed up by two days of deflation. You can see it here on this map. We're just getting uh, rid of one cycle right there back in October. But these little cycles here have these trends of elevated inflation followed by de uh, deflation events. So this kind of looks like that's following that trend. Not 100% certain what's creating those two days of deflation. Um, I don't know if it's got to do with the moon, gravitational pull. Who knows? But uh, definitely starting to see that rise up here earlier this evening we'll keep an eye on it and see if that inflation continues maybe above the previous cycle uh, but for now the uh, volcano there Kilauea volcano continues to um, just have some earthquake activity and obviously some inflation movement not a whole lot of big time earthquake activity just a couple smaller ones but along with the inflation we should see things pick up here in the earthquake department all right uh, california area Mount St. Helens, uh, moving around Mount Rainier once again. Still seeing a couple earthquakes up here. Uh, no active volcanoes, but, uh, you know, I mean, as far as eruption goes, but obviously with earthquake activity, it's somewhat active, right? Let's check out the trimmer map here tonight, Cascadia trimmer. And uh, what do we got? 137 epicenters of trimmer. That is around the Oregon and the California border down here underneath this zone. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity stirring up down here. Uh, may want to watch this overnight, though. A lot of times these tremor events do create strain further upstream. And that's the Cascadia. Uh, the rest of California out here, a little spotty movement at best. Nothing major going on. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up here on the map. But as always, I do want to give a quick glance here, see if there's anything of suspicious activity in it doesn't look like it there's a handful of earthquakes though right here around the grant village area in the last few hours but those are generally small 
and uh, really not showing up too much on the rest of the seismograph stations there. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Anything else going on around the world as far as any elevated movement? Uh, definitely some deep scale activity here across the Mariana Islands. Uh, now this earthquake, this one right here, which one is that? Let's zoom in here real quick and take a gander. Um, that 4.9, this one here kind of stirred up prior to the uh, activity here across the Mariana Trench. But that in itself is deep. A whole bunch of deep activity uh, being triggered out around the Filipino Trench or the uh, Filipino Plate. And I think that's something we need to watch here overnight. That big time deep movement normally will trigger uh, some larger quakes in the area. Uh, not a whole lot going on through the Mediterranean. Some movement. There's that earthquake activity in Iceland. This one kind of looks like it's off of the... I don't know exactly. I think that was... Uh, well, USGS ain't showing it. But I believe it was one of these uh, quakes here outside of the Grindavik Iceland region. Rather interesting there to see uh, maybe a new separate swarm. But they still think, they still think that the uh, area of... Um, the breakthrough, far as the eruption goes, will be around this area right here, the Hagafell area, which is north of the Grindavik region. Uh, that would be the best case scenario. The further away from this town, the better. Obviously, the damage is still there because of the inflation, followed up by rapid deflation here over the last week. They'll have to repair quite a bit of underground stuff, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that. But so far, no eruption uh, has taken place out here yet. All right, uh, space weather activity. It looks like we got a little bit of flaring going on. We do see uh, a couple magnetic arches going on here. These are some big time magnetic fields up here across some very active regions of the sun. We're going to get a little bit better perspective of the sunspots in the coming days. Going to be 3490 up here, a massive sunspot. Also uh, got a regional sunspot here on the southeastern limb of the sun that looks pretty promising in terms of complexity. Right now, 99% chance for a C flare. M flare at 25, X flare around 1% chance. Uh, definitely keep an eye on that area. That's looking quite active, I must say. Uh, G1 class storm maybe later on the Sunday time period. Uh, maybe in the Monday as well. Not a huge chance, but it looks like there may be a possibility here of um, some auroras at the higher latitudes. Not Again, not a huge percentage, but uh, it's better than nothing. Um, so yeah, we'll continue to watch that uh, active region. I think we're going to see things kick up here. That's pretty crazy looking. It's Look pretty. at that. I know, it's absolutely stunning and pretty. Uh, and that's... Uh, it will be rotating in the view here in the coming days. We'll get a better look at it tomorrow, I think. Uh, at least a little better perspective. Um, what do we got here for severe weather? I think we got some activity stirring up here. It looks like um, minimal over the next couple days. But it looks like on day three, we have a huge area down in the southeastern Texas as well that uh, has, looks like a little bit of severe weather potential there Monday into Tuesday. Uh, main threat, uh, let's see here. I mean, well, I'm not really going to get a look at it yet until uh, probably tomorrow or the next day to show us the uh, threat for tornadoes or uh, large hell potential. Let's see here. Isolated hell will be possible. Uh, again, we'll get into this uh, tomorrow. I think it would be a better day to look at the uh, forecast for Monday and Tuesday. All right, folks. Um, what else is going on out here? Is there anything... Uh, major going on no major hurricanes right i don't, I don't think, think so, so. It's, it's been a very not calm expected year. it's been calm to the extent of minimal damage out here yeah. across mm -hmm. populated areas it has been somewhat active in terms of hurricanes but they just they've stayed away which is yeah. good news it's good news for the east coast <laughs> and the west, and coast, the west and, coast and you know everywhere i think west coast only got hit by one in the, that was california southern california area the was it Hillary? Yeah. Uh, I think it was Hillary, yep. Uh, movement here over the next week or so. Not a whole lot of storm systems coming into the West Coast, unfortunately. I'm not seeing any rainfall, at least almost through the first week of December. Uh, and that's not good news here uh, for the West Coast. 
We don't need these dry spells. These are supposed to be our, some of our wetter months. Mm, Got a like massive, that. yeah, massive high pressure system up here. That will keep the storm track way up north out of here. Um, don't like that at all. Uh, if, if you're the fair weather type, well, you're in luck. <laughs> but these are well above average temperatures out here across a good portion of the west, including California. After that, um, it looks like some troughing going on here as we head into the next weekend time period. Much cooler temperatures, uh, west coast, so I don't know. We'll see how this plays out, but I'm definitely not liking that. I don't like that high pressure. Not a good sign. All right, folks. Um, guess we're going to jump off here and uh, call it a night. Seismograph stations for now look pretty quiet, pretty clear, pretty calm. Not a whole lot of activity, even on the Iceland station for now. All right. All right. <laughs> Have a good one, and uh, we'll catch you guys back here sometime tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. Good to see you guys. Or chat with you. <laughs> chat with you. Take care, folks.